busy. Are you ready to talk about the best spirit cliffhangers? Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's get to it. Okay, then let's go. At the ending of season six, Lucky's dad and Miss Flores are gonna be married. But then Lucky's all tied up and Butch LaPre is there and kidnaps Lucky and her dad. Who are you? What are you doing with my daughter? Name's Butch LaPre. And we've got some unfinished business. No! <laughs> uh, yeah, this cliffhanger was totally scary. Yeah, but she'll pray, like, she's really dangerous. So you wouldn't want to get in a situation with her. Okay, Lizzie, I've got one for you. So this cliffhanger, Grayson steals spirit. You hear that? That is the sound of that fine, valuable stallion on his way to the auction house. Grayson is this really mean guy. He tries to buy Spirit from Lucky, but Lucky won't sell him because he's a wild horse and he's not for sale. So Grayson captures Spirit and sells him to an auction house. But when Lucky tries to stop him, he tells Lucky, no, he's a wild horse. You told me so. I got 20 witnesses that heard her say loud and clear that he's a wild horse. So by law, that makes him fair game. So then Spirit is on a train, getting ready to be sold. And then Lucky is chasing after the train, and the whole season ends. I remember I cried even because I was so scared that Spirit w would be sold and Lucky wouldn't have him anymore. No! <laughs> What about this one in Lucky and the New Frontier? Spirit goes missing and he can't handle the city, so he runs away. <laughs> and Lucky can't find him. I know, I remember that. It was so terrible because he was just not ready to live in the city because he couldn't go see his herd and he was so far away from home. All right, Lizzie, I got another scary one for you. This was when Lucky was with the circus and Snips accidentally starts a fire. Snips, be careful! No. <gasps> oh no! And the whole episode ends with the whole caravan catching on fire. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, what about in season four when Aunt Cora says she's moving away? I came to Miradero to help you become a young woman who would succeed in proper society. But I failed. And so, I'm moving out. Yeah, I totally agree. That's a great one because it's such a big part in the story. I really love Aunt Cora. And just if she leaves, I will be so sad. So you, it's like you need to know what happens next. But remember, Lucky runs after her on the train and convinces her to stay. Hey, Akura! Lucky, what on earth are you? I'm sorry I'm late, but I had to finish this. <gasps> you belong in Miradero with us. I think you might be right. I'll stay. Yes! You won't regret it, I promise. That was a great ending. Another one is in season three. This is after the earthquake when the train bridge collapses. Oh yeah, there's a giant earthquake. <gasps> What's oh, happening? Yeah. Earthquake. Earthquake! I've never been in an earthquake before. It's gonna be okay, but we need to take cover. And Lucky's dad is trapped on a train, heading towards the bridge. The bridge. The three o'clock train from Silverload. It'll be coming any minute. If it goes over, all the people on the train. It won't. So they try to help, but Abigail ends up on a rope hanging over the cliff. <laughs> Just let go. I've got you. It's too far. Oh, what are we gonna do? And Lucky jumps. Lucky, what are you doing? I'm coming, Abigail. <laughs> and then it just ends and goes into the rest of the episode. That was the biggest cliffhanger. Well, yeah, she was hanging over a cliff. Good point. I think we can agree 
Those are the best cliffhangers in Spirit Riding Free. Oh yeah. <laughs> But don't you ever do it again. All right, Lizzie. It's time for a spirited debate. You ready? Of course I am. All right. We have to decide who would win in a race, Senor Carrots or Clancy. What do you think? I think it would be Clancy because she can fly. And if you say, do it for Aunt Cora, she will do anything and be so determined. It's up to you now, Clancy. <laughs> do it for Miss Prescott. <laughs> Senior Carrots, on the other hand, he, if there is one carrot or anything distracting, he will leave. Senior Carrots, no! I think so too. So that's why when I thought about this, it's so hard to decide because, I mean, Snitch rides Senior Carrots all the time and makes him go really fast. Like the wind, Senor Carrots, like the wind. But I think what matters most is if you're determined and you're focused, because if you say just do it for Cora, Clancy will do anything for you. I think so too. So I think we're gonna have to pick Clancy. The spirited debate is closed. Clancy wins. Good job, Clancy. Good job. I think I should get a goose. He's gonna destroy everything in your room. Now I'm having second thoughts. 